Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of AFK, or week, it's a new week and it's AFK time. <laughs> I need to clear my schedule. <laughs> We're playing board games all week, wouldn't that be fun? Uh, hello, welcome, 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 I'm Ben, joining me this week we've got Ian. Uh, it's your boy. We've got Kathleen. Ah, uh, it's me, your girl. And Cameron. Hmm? And we're playing Root. It's the return. We're 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 in person again playing this. I don't I I, mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I touched any of these pieces. Return of the game, return of the people to the office, and return of the Mac. I, I was just trying to yes. figure out how to work that out. Yes, I sniped it. I ruined the bit. Yes. Wait, just alley you. Wait, wait. While we're ruining bits. Yeah. I don't think we've touched any of these pieces because this is a new board. That's true. It is a new board because we are playing with. Every expansion under the sun, uh, we have been gifted just so many root things. Uh, and I'm really, really pumped because not only is this, as you can see, a different kind of map, uh, we're also playing with uh, new factions and stuff. Uh, and uh, thank you to the lovely folks that sent us this. Uh, we're very, very excited to play it. Um, and speaking of things we're very, very excited about, we're very excited about you because you're the reason we're able to do all this cool stuff. Thanks to our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Uh, thank you. We, we super duper appreciate your support. Helps uh, keep things running and all that kind of jazz. So we appreciate it. And if you know, you're thinking, hey, boy, howdy, how can I support the Loading Ready Run friends? This is a great way to do it. But you can also support us on our YouTube at our YouTube memberships, which is a great way of doing it, or su subscribing here on the Twitch. Just there's so many avenues for which you could support us, and we appreciate however you decide to do it. So we want to make it easy for you to give us money. Money. Yes, <laughs> we'll open any doors. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, we're playing Root. Uh, I also forgot to mention, and I should work it into my thing. We got Paul on tech. Yes. Obviously, as always, the amazing tech wizard, Paul Saunders. Hello. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, speaking of tech, we have these super cute drawings on the, the lower <laughs> third to represent each of our each of our factions. Uh, and you might notice there, in fact, yes, there's two cute new friendos. Uh, Ian will be representing the Corvid conspiracy. Mm -hmm. In order to keep that uh, from getting too close to a certain uh, other virus that's still out there, keep yourself safe. We're just going to call it the Murder Squad. Yay, Murder Squad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's not indicative of what's going to happen in this game. Uh, and I'm playing the Underground Duchy, which are the mole people which is very, very exciting. Ooh, Kathleen, who are you rocking? Um, well, it's been a while since we played Root in person. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I've played the Woodland Alliance before, and I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. Revolution now. Yeah. <laughs> and Cam? I'm playing the uh, Irie Dynasties. Yeah. Uh, Irie. Irie. <laughs> Irie. The Irie Dynasties. Yeah. I have no idea how to pronounce words. Yeah. I never did, and then yeah. I started encountering Americans and yeah. Englishmen They're not in Irie abundance. Dynasty. Yeah. I thought that was a really subtle 420 joke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. It's yeah. also the weed day, for those of you who care about that kind of thing. <laughs> for those that celebrate. I, yeah. I'm, I'm jamming the Irie Dynasties. <laughs> Hey, Cam, I want to jam in with you. <laughs> jam in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to play Root. Now, we play this game multiple times throughout several different kind of versions of it on stream. So we're not going to get super in the weeds about how to play <laughs> and all that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> are you are you saying you're going to give us a high level view? Of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brands <laughs> tweeting on 420. <laughs> Making it uncool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's the Underworld expansion, so obviously we're in the dank, uh, murky mm -hmm. underground of what's going on in the world. So uh, we're instead uh, just going to kind of talk about, give you a brief overview of how each uh, faction plays uh, as we go around. Uh, so I think without further ado, uh, oh, I guess I should talk about this new map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very briefly. Mm -hmm. So we have this cool new map. It's very different than the one that we've seen, uh, purely, purely because there's a giant body of water in the middle. Uh, and uh, this is the lake map. And how the lake works is it's it's just like any of the other ones, only there's a lake in it. So anyways, uh, <laughs> you can see this raft down here. Um, and what a player can do is they can expend a movement to move from wherever the raft is to one of these uh, coastal towns. Uh, and when they do that, 
They also get to draw a card, which is wild to me. Uh, so moving around, very, very cool. Cam, as you can see with the birds, has chosen uh, his starting position very strategically. <laughs> Getting to start with the raft down there. Uh, yep. I, as the moles, am up here in the corner. Um, Yin has started all over the place. It's one of the things I gotta do. Yeah, he starts yeah. in all the you you started in the mouse. One dude per each suit. Oh. I can't help but notice you could have not started in my one I of mean my I could have not started in yeah, all right. sure could have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kathleen uh, is in the shadows. Yeah, no, we we don't the Woodland Alliance is still forming committees. Great. <laughs> We're gonna distribute some flyers. Yeah. All right. Yeah, great. Like fine. The front for the liberation of the woodland <laughs> and the liberation, or the, the people's woodland liberation front. Yeah. yeah. Or, continue to be at odds. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Cam, I believe you get to actually start us off, I and do. then it's gonna actually go counterclockwise. All right. Mm -hmm. Based so, on our factions. Um, I'm playing the Airy Dynasties, who mm -hmm. score points each turn based on how many roofs are on the map. Currently, it is one. The area are bound by their decree. Each turn they must add cards to and then resolve it, taking a decreed action for each card in the match and clearing. If they can't complete all of the decreed actions, they fall into turmoil, losing them many points, replacing their leader, and discarding their decree. The leader is deposed peacefully, I'm sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> probably fine. Which is totally what happens in, in systems like this. If a leader fails, they get to go and live in a dacha out in the country. <laughs> Um, Come hang out in my duchy. Yeah. <laughs> Underground. Underground. Yes. Where, where birds belong. Mm, birds love that. <laughs> I, I assume since we're playing also, since this is the Underworld expansion and there is a lake, that this is actually just the geo front. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that tracks. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Exploit a weak point in their decree and you'll clip their wings. But take care, as the area are lords of the forest, they rule a clearing even when tied in presence there. Mm hmm. Okay. So, so who did you start with? You started with the despot. Yes, right? you start with the despot, who's um, who starts with cards in move and build. Uh, every turn, I need to place one or two cards in my decree, um, and each leader gets two loyal viziers, who are placed in specific places. So for the despot, it is move and build. Mm -hmm. So I have a loyal vizier in each of move and build, and that means that. Those can take place in any place. Yes. Um, and Which then is the wild cards. Yes. As I add my decrees, those can only take place in matching clearings. Mm -hmm. So I would like to place, as is my right, uh, one card in recruit. Oh, okay. In fox clearings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. You started in a fox clearing. Yeah, and then I would like to place one in. Do I want to place one in? I think I would prefer not to, actually. I think I'm just going to place one. OK. I, my experience playing the, uh, the Airy before is that they can quite easily get themselves into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. And I think you want to build momentum. Yeah, I think you want to start like, slow rather than come out the gate swinging, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, OK, so I've added one or two cards to the decree. And then I have, um, that's, that's my bird song. Yeah. Next we move on to daylight. So I can craft using Roos. I would like, I believe I can craft Root T. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't. Can't, no. right, yes, because it is a mouse clearing. Yeah. And I'm very smart. <laughs> That's okay. It's been a while since we've not had the okay. digital game holding our hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brain. We knew this. We knew this. Okay. So then I recruit from, or I execute my decree from left to right. So we recruit. One bird in Foxtown. Yes. Then I move. I would like to move um, three. Oh. Oh. And you to, get to draw a card. I do. And then I would build. Using my wild card. All right. 
So, so what happens with your decree if the raft isn't there the next time? Well, he doesn't have to move on the raft. Yeah. Right, he just has to move somewhere. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that would be messed up. <laughs> yep. It's like, well, you've locked in. You have to boat forever, Cam. Yeah, now, now it's all over. Um, okay, so I've executed my decree, su decree successfully. Um, hmm. I think that there remains an opportunity for me here. Which is that I can use... So if, you, if you've if you gone to the, uh, through your decree... Yes, then we begin evening. Yeah. Okay. So at the beginning of evening, mm -hmm. I can spend two rabbit cards, correct? For the cobbler. No. No? No. So how at the start of evening I may take a move? So how these cards work, this is a great this is a great way to uh, talk about crafting. So you have to craft that card to have it basically work. So what this is saying is two mm -hmm. uh, two rabbit of your two of your pieces need to be in a rabbit clearing. Which mm -hmm. or you sorry. You need to have two roosts in rabbit clearings to oh, craft. Two roosts that. Yeah. in rabbit clearings. Yeah. Sorry. And then you have that card and then it'll activate during the evening for you. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, so that point, is my turn then. <laughs> yeah, so at this point... You I just, score one victory point. Yeah, so you get a victory point for Cam, and then uh, I believe you also get to draw a card, don't you? Uh, yes. I draw one card, plus one card per thing showing. All right. Great. And that's a turn in the bird land. Yep. And Kathleen. You, did you get a card from the raft? Isn't that a thing too? Yep. Yes. I got yeah. one. Great. Yeah. Kathleen, you're playing the Woodland Alliance. What's your mm. shtick? All right. We demand fairer working conditions and more holidays and uh, less overlords um, and more guillotines. Uh, we have a long list of demands, but right now, basically... We, we could do holidays. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what about holidays? <laughs> the Woodland Alliance scores as they place sympathy on the map, scoring more as they place more. To place sympathy, they need to first add cards to their faction board as supporters. If you oppress sympathetic clearings, though, you'll add to their supporters as well. So you can stamp out my sympathy, but in the, that you, that, you, know, you, you gain some converts. They got a mixtape, and now they're hooked. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah, we move, we, be, we move on in, and then we go, hey, actually, they're not too bad. Yeah. So beyond adding sympathy, their supporters can incite revolt, destroying all enemy pieces in a clearing and establishing a base there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bases improve the Alliance's card draw and let them train officers, which gives them free actions each turn. Destroying the bases will subdue many supporters and officers, slowing the revolution. But beware, the Alliance are experts in guerrilla war. They defend with the higher role. Yeah. So, so if you try to fight me, like, say we'll just, for the sake of argument, we roll a one, at, like I rolled a one and you rolled a two. Because the Woodland Alliance is an expert in guerrilla warfare, I'd say, no, I rolled a two and you rolled a one, and yeah. I would win. Yeah, <laughs> they're very cool. So don't, just look, people... How angry do you want the people, right? <laughs> I'll leave. Well, I mean, we'll 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 let the people be until yeah. they get a little too uppity, you know. And then once once they once they feel like they're getting any traction, then we'll stop them. Out. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. All right. So that's my kind of goal. So uh, in bird song, I can spend two supporters, and now I have supporters here. I start with three. Mm -hmm. um, I can spend two supporters uh, to uh, if I have a if sympathetic clearing, but I don't have that, so we can ignore that. Right over to my to the second thing I can do in bird song, which is spread sympathy. I can spend number of supporters listed on sympathy track to place a sympathy adjacent to a sympathetic clearing if possible, and supporters must match the target clearing. And I start with three. Mm -hmm. and I, I, yeah, we're gonna, I was like, we're going to need a discard pile. Yes, we can um, do it right there. So I'm going to get. Let's see, where can I? make uh, i can take a bun clearing i feel like i should put some sympathy in this bunny clearing Ooh, all right all so right. i'm going to discard this dominance uh card uh and then i'm going to put a sympathy in this bunny clearing because i happen to have two bunny cards there um and then uh so that actually nets you a victory point Oh, yes, I get a victory point. And I t can technically do it a third time, too, actually. So I can put a sympathy, I can do a fox clearing. Now they have to be adjacent to one another. I guess this one would have had to be adjacent. Hmm. 
Hmm, did I place my sympathy wrong? Uh, I guess these are adjacent. I mean, Given you could the, take the raft. Uh, the, I kind of assumed that was. Adjacent but... via raft? So the, they're only adjacent to like the, the ones that actually have actual okay. paths. That's not adjacent to uh, that. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, that's what I thought. Mm. Uh, so all right, I've well, but I've got it, but I've got it. It's got to be a bunny one, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's a bunny one, and then I'm gonna spend my fox card to go down here. All right. Even though that's further away from me. Great. Okay, so that actually gets me two victory points, and then in, then I move to my daylight phase, which is craft using sympathy. Uh. Mm. No, I'm okay. Um, and then mobilize. Add a hand for my add a card for my hand to my supporter stack. Heck yeah, I'm gonna put a card down there, and then I can train mm -hmm. to spend a card. I can take. Am I screwing up? Uh, I was. Just, I don't know if you can place one there and then one there. Because oh. it needs to be adjacent. They need to be adjacent to okay. sympathetic clearings, right? Yes. But I, well, could I just, could I go here then? Because I'm trying to. Because I can only spend a bunny card to do it, right? Yeah. So you'd have to hang on to the bunny card, I think. Oh. Yeah. So you could do you could do these two totally fine, but these aren't adjacent clearings. Mm. I mean, maybe maybe that would just change the order. Well, that's fine. I'll hang on to my card. I mean, if you prefer to it. go there, go for eh, it. I've already placed my bits. I'd rather I'd rather go centrally. Mm. Okay. I want right. people to pass by my things. Mm -hmm. I guess that would make because yeah, otherwise everything on the lake would be considered adjacent to each mm -hmm. other, which would be a little awkward. Yeah. 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 Oh, somebody in chat points out because there's three birds here. There's martial law in effect anyhow. Yes. So I'd have to spend an extra supporter, which I don't have right now. I read. I've read the rules so many times. That's all right. I mean, like I said, it's been a while since we played this <laughs> one in person. We're gonna slowly spool up to it. Well, I think on the computer, I just would have been like, why can't I place one here? Yeah. Why can't I place yeah. one here? What's this, this yeah. stupid game? is broken. Yeah, it's broken. It's hung up. <laughs> I would like to submit a bug report. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyhow, I can, uh, so I have craft. I'm not going to craft. Uh, I have mobilized, and I can train to spend a card for my hand matching a built base, but I don't have any built bases, so I'm done. And then... <laughs> It is turn one. We yeah. probably yeah. aren't going to be getting very far. Yeah. I know, I know, but I'm just going through what my options are because it's always the same thing. And then there's, I can't do any military operations, but I can draw a card to end my turn. Great. All right. So now we're on to the uh, the newer uh, ones. Back to back, we got Ian oh. and I playing the the new faction. So I'm playing the Underground Duchy, as you say, uh, as as you can see. Uh, they are the mole people, um, and our shtick is that we believe. That we're, we're that we're so royal that everyone should be our subjects. It only makes sense. We we have such an opulent, like underground like world that we're gonna come up and we're gonna share yeah. that with everybody here. No one is beneath you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Chuds. Yeah, pretty much. So, so <laughs> I score points. Uh, effectively by uh, swaying ministers on my side. So I have a pile of ministers. Uh, right here, and they all they 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 all have different jobs and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to be revealing cards uh, to basically recruit them uh, and put a little nice little crown on top of them. And uh, by removing a crown, it'll give me victory points. Um, whenever you blow up one of my buildings, building is one of the things that mm -hmm. I can do. Uh, I lose the highest ranking minister. Sweet. It goes and so it it goes back into the pile. So I can recruit it again, but the crown that I removed to recruit it goes away forever. Ooh. So I only have nine, and, and they're they're a big part of how I get victory points. This is it, besides crafting and blowing other people's things up. So uh, the the underground duchy they're a little bit warlike, kind of. I have a lot of warriors. Um, their other main shtick is the burrow, obviously, because we're moles. So uh, there's a little section right here called the burrow uh, up in the top corner of the uh, the map. Um, and that's where I'm going to be. Here, I'll show it off here. It's down here. Look at this. Uh, I'm just putting it on the uh, on the map so people can uh, can can kind of see whenever we look. Right here. There we go. Um, and uh, whenever I recruit, I actually put my guys in the burrow. And you can see on the map there's one little tunnel here. I have two oh. other tunnels. I can wherever uh, there is a clearing. Um, it, 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 as 
basically, if I, I can show a cart off to burrow into one of those clearings and move and put a tunnel there and move up to four warriors from the, the clearing into that space. Mm. So I can just kind of pop up and start fights. Efficient movement. Yes, yeah. Um, and the burrow is connected to any place that has a tunnel, so I can also use my move action to move out to any of these tunnels. Mm. Um, that's pretty much the big thing. Uh, I, the, I have these cool buildings that I can build. The citadels uh, will allow me to recruit more dudes on my turn, and the markets will allow me to draw more cards. That's kind of the shtick. So I'll go through my turn and show you a go. So at the start of Birdsong, I place one warrior, warrior uh, per mole, uh, plus one per mole showing. So in this case, there are no moles showing, so I just get one warrior. It goes into my nice little burrow here. Uh, on daylight, I take up to two actions. So I can build, move, battle, recruit, or dig. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build. I'm going to build a little citadel right up here. Uh, and I do that by revealing a card to place a building in that clearing. So in this case, and I show you that I have this Fox Folk Steel card. Uh, and that just sits right here for a sec. Um, and allows me to build that. Uh, at the end of my turn, I'm actually going to get these cards back, which is kind of nice. That is kind of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, boy, what's going on? I get one other action. So, Cam's kind of rolling up on me. Or maybe he's just, a, he's just, a, yeah. <laughs> Cam, Cam moved slightly in my direction, so he's the arch enemy of this game, and our fight will never end. No, turn I'm, one, everyone. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yes. I'm not starting Cam, with the birds. Um, Cam, who is in the other corner of the map, so literally any move yeah, you make yeah. went in your direction. Mm -hmm. I will say, I don't love that you, Ian's got birds in my house. Um, <laughs> he had, it's, it's worth noting that he had the option to not start in my house, mm -hmm. but he chose to start in my house. We don't know them. Yeah. <laughs> are they with you? <laughs> they are a terrorist are... organization. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. We disavow them completely. Oh, so they're with you. No, yes. no, no. <laughs> no, they're I'm sorry, they're a different faction. They have oh, okay. different they have a different list of people they wish to have guillotined. <laughs> oh, Ian, how likely is it that you're gonna plot in my house? Let me tell you something here. Yeah. Uh, there's, there, 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 there's this video that you can see of a kookaburra getting into a human's house. Yeah. They are not easy to get to leave. <laughs> are you threatening me? <laughs> I, I attack know. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, okay, well, here we go. All right, so these two moles are going to fight this bird. Get out of my house. Uh, so I'll roll first, I guess. Yep. I roll a two. Ian. Rolls a zero. zero. So, so yeah. Ian's bird dies, and now I have no birds at my house. I, so this I wasn't a kookaburra. No, that's <laughs> We're crows. Yeah. Please. Right, right, right. You're quite clearly bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You had too much chocolate, my friend. Yeah. Or so, <laughs> have I? I forgot these weren't normal dice. I was like, wait, what? A zero? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so these dice uh, go, there's, I believe, no, there's two threes, two twos, two ones, and I don't know. They go from zero to three. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so that, those are my two actions. Okay. Um, then, if I had ministers, mm -hmm. uh, I would do the actions on each of the ministers I have once. But I don't have any yet. But the third part of my, my main turn is to, uh, once per turn, I may reveal cards to sway a minister. I may only reveal cards matching clearings with any duchy pieces, one per card per clearing. So uh, squires, which are the lowest form, uh, require two cards for me to reveal. So I'm going to reveal this bunny and this mouse. And mm -hmm. I have a mouse clearing that I own and a bunny clearing that I own. So that means I get to take one of the squire ministers and bring him in. So I have a four mole, <laughs> which uh, his uh, his ability is reveal a card to place a building. So it would just be an extra free it's building. A, it's a foreman, but it's a mole. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yes, Paul. <laughs> I see. I see what we're going for. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a marshal, uh, which is just I get a free move. Or there's a captain, which is I get a free battle. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, mm, I mean, free move is pretty cool, but maybe I should just build at the start. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to recruit the squire. So the squire now is going to come hang out here and I'll kind of try and, why don't I do this and then people can see my ministers. And I take one of these little crowns and I put it on the squire. Uh, so that gives me one victory point. And, uh, that's, that's that portion, portion of the turn. And then in the evening, I discard any revealed bird cards. Uh, so I didn't reveal any of those. And then I return all these ones I showed you to my hand. 
I can craft now using citadels and markets. So I have a citadel in a fox clearing. So if I had a thing that uh, would only require one fox clearing to build, I could build it now. But I don't. Uh, and then finally, I draw one card plus one card per card show going on here. There is none, so I just draw one. And that's the end of the mole. And that's mm. how the moles work. Ian. Yes. How does the murder squad work? Well, we are officially the Corvid conspiracy. And uh, we are, uh, as you, you noticed, uh, you may call us a terrorist group. But the difference between a terrorist group and a, uh, a legitimate government is that the terrorist group just hasn't finished yet. So, um, yeah. The only difference. <laughs> The effective right. difference. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, our, our deal is that we uh, we basically want to uh, go across the map, sow chaos, and, and basically uh, find ways to make things our own. And we do that via plots. And we have four plots uh, open to us. We have the bomb plot that, when flipped, uh, removes all enemy pieces from a clearing. And then we remove the token. We have the snare plot that, when face up, uh, prevents enemy pieces from being placed or moved from the clearing. You're just kind of stuck there. That's sweet. There is the extortion plot, that, which when flipped uh, allows me to take a random card from a player who has any pieces in the clearing where that plot is. And while face up allows me to draw an extra card in the evening. And finally, the raid plot, which when removed, uh, places one warrior into each adjacent clearing. So none of those things are like be good friends with the person that's in that area. The time for friendship has passed. Uh, that's now not... is the time for action. I guess you don't have to like have a secret plot to do that. You can <laughs> just that's do that. the difference between the Woodland Alliance and the and the Murder Squad. Yes, <laughs> we're still in committee. <laughs> so there's a few other tricks that that, that we have up our, uh, our our sleeves here because okay. we are we are uh, clothing wearing birds apparently. But uh, we'll get to those when it's time. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, we're going to start with bird song here. Uh, I have options to craft. Unfortunately. I don't own any uh, areas because I own areas by putting plots down onto them rather than uh, just having the number of people. Mm -hmm. uh, so can't do that. Uh, I can't flip any plot tokens because I don't have any plot tokens out. But I can recruit birds once per turn um, by discarding a card. And I think I might just do that because you did ruin one of my uh, one the, of my dudes. You're already back? Yep. Get, get out of my house! <laughs> and, uh, which, sorry, what was that card? That was a mouse? It was a mouse. Perfect. God damn it. And we're back. The birds keep coming back to my house. So you can just recruit to anywhere, right? Eh? Yep. Anywhere that matches the, the clearing, yeah. All right, so we're going to hide my that, plots here a bit. That bunny is back in the mouse clearing. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, as Blood and Bolts points out, there's actually there's two of each of those plot yep. tokens, and I cannot use more than two. Mm -hmm. I am, but he gets I am to keep them secret. Limited in my plots, so we're gonna just uh, keep those secret here. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, because I am going to hatch a plot, mm -hmm. we're gonna remove the bird, and we're gonna put the plot down in that particular area there. Uh, I can take a few more actions. I already hate this. <laughs> <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> what is it? I what is he doing the, in that house? The, the bird not being in the house is the scary part, it turns yeah. out. Another mystery yeah. plot there. And there is a mechanic for us guessing it. Right? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, so how do we remove them? Well, OK. Uh, basically, the, the optimal system of removal of my plots is for them to go off. But other than that, uh, you can remove them via something called exposure. Anytime before drawing cards in the evening, uh, enemy players have the opportunity to guess what the plot is. Mm -hmm. by uh, But they must ante up a card from their hand before doing so. If they're correct, then uh, nothing happens and it removes the plot. If they're incorrect, I get their card. Um, Chad actually pointed out a great thing uh, that it, it does say on there. When you reveal that, you actually get a bird in each mouse clearing. Oh. Cool. Well, let's uh, make sure that that's, yeah, even better. And down here. Great. Weirdo little bunnies. I killed one and they exploded into four. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Listen, I'm from down there. <laughs> right. We didn't know that they we split that. like that. <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that's the do case. These, do each one of these have half the hit points? <laughs> <if they're> one. <laughs> that being the case, we're going to put a third plot in effect. I watched a cartoon about this. Once. Why in my house? <laughs> the main character was an yeah. elephant. <laughs> yeah. So many plots. Yeah, it's 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 when the bird is in your house. At least you know where the bird is. When the bird isn't in your house and it's just weirdly quiet. And has left a present for you. 
All right, so that's my daylight. That means I get to move into evening. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can exert myself and take an extra daylight action should I so choose, or I can draw a card plus one card for every uh, one of the extortions showing on the map and then discard down to five cards. So I'm just going to draw the card. Okay. And there we go. That'll be my turn. Okay. We're back to the birds. We are. Wait, wait we're at the double birds. Double birds. Go birds. Birds into birds. Add, okay. I, my hand is not empty, so I do not draw a card. I add one or two cards to the decree. I would like to add this fox to the recruit decree. That makes sense. You might need to zoom cams out so we can see the decree. <laughs> yeah, I can I'll move it down a bit. Ah, that works too. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to add another one? Hmm. Hmm. I could I do something. Now let's let's continue with this slow swelling. Yeah. Get uh, thing going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can craft using Roos. Mm-hmm. Now, I do have, okay, so if I wanted to craft the cobbler, mm -hmm. I have two dudes in a mouse clearing. Uh, it's, it's with roosts, I believe, yeah. right? Two roosts, mm -hmm. two roosts, okay. Yeah. I understand now, and I will retain that information, mm -hmm. because I've only played this game about a dozen times. <laughs> it's all right, I feel like you and I read play the, the mega bond. And I read the manual an hour ago to refresh <laughs> myself on it, and I still don't know what's going on in my life. Where am I right now? Anywho, time to go to war. Um, I recruit <sighs> twice in a fox clearing. Then I can move from anywhere using using the um, using the thinger. Yeah, you don't have to use the raft, but I mean it's free cards, which seems pretty hype. Yeah, I would like. Mm, It does seem hype, but it does leave me vulnerable in that bunny clearing. It does. I would like to move two dudes to this fox clearing. Uh, now, I believe that procs one of Kathleen's abilities. Yes. Outrage? Uh, yes. When a player removes sympathy or moves any warriors into a sympathetic clearing, that player must add a matching card from their hand to your supporters. So it's Oh, right. But if you can't... Uh, they show you their hand, and then you draw a card and add it to your supporters. Okay. I have seen your hand, and I'm going to draw a card okay. and add it to my supporters. Then I would need to battle in some way. But I cannot. We're not a warrior people. Mm -hmm. Well, you need, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and now you must build. I must build. I need a bitey bird. And I do control that clearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's 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 just a plot and somebody on a mimeograph machine in there. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you're turning out turning out literature. Yeah. <laughs> Cam, I have the feeling that you and I are gonna have to play like the police. Yeah. In this game. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna be like, yeah. we've got two two <laughs> yeah, terrorist organizations <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Playing. I mean, it's kind of ironic that you would be expected to play whack-a-mole. <laughs> Hey, hey, we resemble that remark. Yeah. Yeah. I think the uh, cards present, prevent that too, it makes it hurt more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I score two victory points for having three roosts out. Mm -hmm. And then I draw two cards. Yeah, you sure do. But, uh, so Cam gets points. That game must be considered like super bad taste in the bowl. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we come up in the middle of an arcade. Ah, they've been training this whole time! And we go down. Dear sirs. Yeah. They're All right. rewarded based on how many of us they kill? <laughs> Barbarism. So, Kathleen. All right, I can't, um, I can't revolt. 
Uh, like I said, we're enough. we're still in we're st we're still in negotiations. Yep, that's There's fair. There's a lot of things that need to be worked out. So I'm good, I'm just going to spread uh, some sympathy. Um, I am going to spread some sympathy into this mouse quarter over here. So that'll cost you two cards now. My last, my last oh, one. Oh, sorry, that was your last one. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Point for Kathleen. I got some, got some more things we want to talk about. All right, into daylight. Um, let's see. I can craft. I'm gonna, do I have anything I could craft? No. Um, so, but then I can uh, add mobile. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I uh, I can add. I can add cards from my hand to the uh, to my supporter stack, so I think I'm going to do that. I can do because I can do it any number of times. Uh oh. Support for them is increasing. <laughs> well, with no vagabond, it's not really worth crafting things. It's true, right? Yeah. So it's like. Mm -hmm. eh. <laughs> I mean, you get points for them, but you can't like buy them to mm -hmm. yeah. do and anything. You also I mean, you ha you have the thing where if you have no bases, you can't have more than five cards in your supporters. Oh right. right? Yes. I feel there's value in crafting. Well, there's for victory, four Perfect. victory points still. Mm -hmm. Public art. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. that's true. Yeah. I, I like that. Apparently, the vagabond was the only thing keeping the economy going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we have produced this very stunning coffee pot. Which I believe demonstrates our divine right to rule. <laughs> Checks out. Neat. <laughs> All right. What All are you right. doing in the daylight? Uh, that's all I'm going to do in the daylight. I still can't do anything in the evening, so I'm going to draw a card and pass my turn. All right. Uh, it's bird song for the uh, for the moles, so I get to place one warrior plus one um, per mole showing. So in this case. I have one citadel, so I'm going to place two moles in the burrow. Ooh. Uh, now it's time to take two actions. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to actually do uh, is I'm going to uh, spend this uh, this rabbit card. Uh, so that goes into the discard to dig. Mm. I'm a dig all the way over here. Can, he can is there the anything beginning. the other players can do? Can they fill in the holes or anything? Or no, no. Permanent? But fortunately, uh, I can't like go back into the burrow and then out to the, the thing. I can only go from the burrow. Oh, okay. don't, don't, don't worry, we, we can deal with those holes. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> so, uh, and then I can move up to four moles out of the burrow there. Um, oh yes, yeah, you can attack the holes, sorry. Yeah, just like just like any other sympathy token or, or I guess we other... can't attack plot tokens, can we? Or fr from soft game. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever just want to dig? Always. Yeah. That is like my whole thing, man. <laughs> dig, dig up, dig up. That's what I always hear in my head. Uh, and then... It's a totally legitimate hobby. <laughs> Just going in your backyard with a shovel and digging. Yep. So mm. On Reddit recently, how do I get my husband to stop digging his tunnel? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> really? What's wrong with you? You mark the utility lines and let him have his yes. fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ian. Yes. How do you flip your tokens? I flip my tokens uh, during my bird song. Okay. By removing one, uh, or no, by just uh, flipping them on any uh, place where I have a soldier. Okay, so you need to have a soldier there yes. first. And there's, is there any way for you to like sneak a soldier in there? I can move them. Right, but like, not before you get a dude in there. No. Cool. No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave these. Okay. So it takes. What three, two? It takes two turns to like set up a trap. I could have done this better, and it might have worked. Because you have to like place a guy, and then that guy has to go away to put the trap, and then another guy has to come in to activate the trap. Yeah, and movement is it happens during daylight. Uh, shoot, I... and the traps can only happen in the morning. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, move uh, some duders here. Actually, I think it makes more sense for me to go like so as my other action. Uh, okay, and then I do my minister's action, the squire, which is reveal a card to place a building in any clearing you rule. Uh, so I'm going to reveal this mouse card. Uh, and let's put a citadel 
I feel that statement really could have used a semicolon. <laughs> Which? <laughs> a place to place a card in any any clearing. A semicolon. You rule. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Thanks, game. it has to be a mouse clearing. Oh no! Wait, I was doing something else. This fox clearing. <laughs> I'm gonna reveal that so I can put one here. Um, so that lets me recruit uh, more moles. Uh, and then I can reveal two cards. So in this case, I'm going to reveal this fox and this mouse for that clearing and that clearing. We'll say to recruit a new friendo. And it's going to be this Marshall Sudcliffe. Uh, he gets a little crown. I get a victory point. And the Marshall is I get to take a move. Well, let lets me do things. Uh, all right, and then I go to my evening, which is discard and you revealed uh, bird cards, which is none. Return all these cards to my hand. I craft using citadels and markets. I don't think I want to craft. Nope, sure don't. Uh, and then I draw one card plus burger one card showing. Hold up, we're now in exposure time. Uh, because oh, you, right. Yep, yeah, because you are exposed to at least two different places yes. in my, uh, my area. So, anytime before drawing cards in the evening, an enemy player in a clearing with a face down plot token may show you a matching card to guess its type of the plot token. If they're correct, they remove the plot and ignore its effect. If they're incorrect, then uh, they just give me the card. So, you, you don't have to do this, but it's a way to remove those plots. But you got to guess what it is. Hmm. Ian, I I get the feeling that one of these is an extortion token, but I don't know which one. And if I give you my mouse card, I am screwed. Mm. <laughs> so, so if I ante it up, I get it back if I'm correct. Yeah, if you win, you get it back. I don't think you'd lead with a bomb. That mm. doesn't seem like you. Who can say? Cam, as my fellow as as my fellow policer of the woods, I'm prepared to bet that this is a snare. Yeah. Because like, would you put? Hmm, although this one does have three connections, so it could be a raid. Ian. Mm hmm. That's an that's a an extortion. Incorrect. No! Oh my god. Why wouldn't you? Very suboptimal play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very <laughs> suboptimal. I certainly uh, didn't gain from that. Wheels at all. Within so wheels, wait, I don't get to draw now? Uh, if in, uh, I don't, it doesn't say anything about you not being able to draw. Okay, then I will still draw. Does it, does it reveal it? No, no, uh, no, it does not. He just so all we know is that it's not a that's not extortion. an extortion one. I mean, if that's an extortion, hmm. when it flips up, you can just go go to town on me with the soap, but in the sock. I mean, not <laughs> <laughs> you may bathe me. <laughs> uh, so I don't get to see the plot. Uh, so that's me. Go ahead, buddy. All right, starting with bird song. Uh, crafting can't craft. Not enough craft power. Uh, can't flip tokens. Not enough. People with plots, or not enough people matching with the plots. Mm -hmm. so I can't do that. So I must recruit my favorite Japanese conglomerate. Uh, we're going to spend this bunny token to put down three more. Oh, wow, there's a lot of bunnies. One, two, three, four. Yes. You get one per? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get one in there. Oh, let's get more. Well, I mean, it's one per. I don't get to choose. <laughs> oh, it's an autonomous action. Yeah. <laughs> All right, daylight allows me to take up the three actions. I can add plots. I can uh, move. I can trick, or I can battle. Let's talk about plots here. Man, I do not like the crows. <laughs> they are spooky, man. They're like the woodland alliance on steroids mm -hmm. they, yeah I, or at least like in in like you can stop I feel like I can stop them slightly easier than it is to stop the woodland Alliance but they're they come out the gate swinging a little quicker mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. remember you can uh, just attack the plots too wait I can can you oh I did not realize that I didn't realize that either so you yeah you can attack the plots but you take some damage wait do I 
Like, I know that the, I have the embedded agents system, which means that in a battle, as a mm -hmm. defender, with a face-down plot token, the plot token uh, deals one damage to you. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know you could have fit. Okay, that well, that well, any, like, any, I believe, any, any tokens, tokens can no, be that makes attacked, because right, yes. that's how you attack sympathy. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know. Okay. I definitely would not have given him that card. <laughs> yeah, you could just, like, I could just, <laughs> stop. You yeah. take, but you take one hit, regardless. So that's, a, like, it's, yeah, it's embedded action. Or embedded agents. Their yep. plots do inflict one casualty. Uh, oh, per plot token. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you can try to guess and do it for free, or you can that fight makes it. That sense. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I put down one. I'm going to put down hmm. Yeah. Let's put that one down. There as well. No, because I have to remove this. Right, oh, we'll just do the one plot. Uh, then we'll move one gentle crow down to here. And. Whoa. Swap these two. Bomb. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's, it's probably not a bad guess. So keep in mind, he could swap them. So if you are, if you guys are just speculating amongst yourselves, he can be, he can be listening and be like, "Hmm, I'll move, I'll change that." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know that this one didn't change, and it's not an exploitation token or an extortion. Can you check them after they're down, or do you have to be like, "No, <laughs> oh, no, I, I can check them." Oh, okay. Thank oh, like as the player? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I imagine. Is it uh, is it significant that 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 one crow is standing on his head? No. <laughs> That's a bunny. <laughs> but, uh, all right, as my evening move, I'm going to exert myself, do one more daylight action, which means I am going to move a crow to here. Bomb. Bomb. And that's my turn. Sorry. I don't draw when I exert myself. Oh, OK. How many cards do you have? I have in hand three. Cool. Cam, okay. you're up, bud. OK, so I. Uh, add one or two cards to the decree. I would like to add a battle card, which is a wild card. And then I would like to add a... a fox card to the move de uh, action. Mm. I can craft using Roos. I shan't <laughs> this time. Yeah. Okay. Resolve decrees. Mm -hmm. To recruit. Mm -hmm. I can move. Uh, oh, sympathy. You've outraged me. You've... Does, that, does that fire a second time, or is it only fire the first time people enter it? Uh, it says when a player removes sympathy or moves So he any... didn't move into it, he recruited into it. Oh, that's yes. true. Okay, yeah. never mind then. Um, but you might be getting a card soon. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the battle is coming. Yeah. I can move from wild card, or from fox. Actually, hold on. No, yes. Um... <laughs> hmm. And now that I like remember how to play this game as we're going through it, I I love Root. It's such a cool so game. So good. Yes. Yeah. And then the wild move shall be from here to here. All right. Outrage. Oh, right. Uh, uh, from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not rage. A uh, battle. Yeah. A matching clearing. And that can be any clearing. Mm -hmm. I would like to attack the crows. Not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Go for it. Roll them up. So, Cam, you roll one dice. and I thought it was it's the easy. attacker rolls both and the... Right, the defender takes the lower. You're, You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Am I attacking just the soldier? You're attacking everything that's his on that. Yep. Okay. 
but right. the so warrior. So the damage go goes to the warrior first, and yeah. then to the yeah. <laughs> so you still take one yep. Right, yep. from the embedded agents, but and then that goes away. There you go. Do I get to see what it was? No. Okay. Just targeted artillery strike on that. On whatever. That plot. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it was. Did anyone catch what Fing. that was? No. Nope. <laughs> Did it blow up more or less than you expected? About right, sir. And then I build. Ooh, any clearing that you control, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will ta get three victory points. Oh, and due to the despot, if I remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score one point. Sick. Well so done. you get four points in total that turn? Yep. Nice Woo! one. I should make a caveat that if that was a raid token, mm -hmm. uh, I would have got that when it was removed. Okay. Oh, interesting. Right. So yeah, raid tokens oh, fire when they get when they get attacked. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, you totally should have done that. Yeah, I totally should have done that. Jason <laughs> glaring. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so I draw mm. one card per, plus one card per card showing. So I draw two. Dickens. Oh, uh, chat says you get points for removing tokens too for destroying. Oh. oh, but it says if I removed at least I thought it was just like it says okay. if you remove at least one enemy building oh. score one point. Oh, okay. so I so thought I think it's, it's just like if you did that. Mm -hmm. Right, it's You get a point if you did it. If you yes. did a lot of it that's nice. Oh, so you get you one bonus. Get I guess. Oh. Cuz Twitch chat, yeah, you get points if you remove tokens. You also get an extra point if you remove Oh. Like that's oh, that's okay. for any of us. Like so, if I blow up one of his, oh. I also get a point. Right. You yeah. also. Yeah. I get a bonus one. Mm -hmm. I read the manual. <laughs> well, it's it's there's like the specific ones for the different, but then those are overlaid on top of the just generic right. Yeah. rules. Right. 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 All right. We're gonna surf this government all the way to victory. Yeah, it's and you're going doing... very well. <laughs> you are almost a third it's... of the way there. Yeah. It's tricky though, because he can. He's the only one who can actually lose victory points. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, we can undergo a collapse. Uh, Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, my goodness. You know what? This has gone is, too long. Is it revolt time? I must revolt. The mouse clearing is revolting. Uh Oh, that one. Yeah. So that mm. blows up all of Ian's stuff. Oh, cool. That's definitely a raid token. Oh! 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 So what happens? So, so he just he just gets one there, dude in each adjacent clearing. There and there. Oh man! Oh, they don't immediately attack or anything though. Now they're no. just you again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you. All right, so I have so I get a warrior there. Mm-hmm. I place a warrior in my officer's box. Hooray! Finally. All right, I can do the other half of my turn now. And then I can uh, spread sympathy if I wanted to, but I can't spread any more sympathy. All right, um, so moving into daylight, um, I can mobilize, uh, which I think I will. <coughs> Excuse me. Do And... Uh, I'm gonna leave that card where it is, and then go into my my evening phase. So now I can take one thing. I can organize to remove a warrior and place sympathy, which is not super helpful. Uh, I can recruit, uh, which is place a warrior at a base, or I can move, or I can battle. I don't want to battle, but I am gonna recruit someone to take care of my. Base. The alliance is on the board. So. And then I'm going to draw two cards for my turn. Seems good. Okay. It's back to the, the, the moles. What you got? Ian, I have a sinking suspicion that that is a raid token, now that I know what raid does. It's in a really good, like, that's four. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, it's a good spot. Well, I guess I get three, because it doesn't count the one that it's on. But Oh, I meant this one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's the. the yeah. Money. That feels like a raidy raid raid token. So, the only way to stop the raid one is to do the guessing thing, right? Or is there literally nothing I can do yes. about raid? Yes. Yes, that is the only way. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Or you can 
No, right, because if you attack it, it will pop up. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, anyways, bird song, uh, I get to recruit four warriors. Uh, and now I got to take some actions. Um, move is move always two, or is it just the one? I think it's just the one, right? It's the cats that I'm thinking of that do double move. Yes, you can you can move one thing, but it's any number of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take any number and move. Yeah, one clearing. Yeah, it's the cats that have the old double move. Uh, so. Hmm. I definitely want to do things and stuff. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to move uh, these friendos here. Mm. Should have made the attacky guy now that I'm seeing how this works. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, well, no. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a battle. Oh. Ian, I'm fighting you. Wow, here. right away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, two. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. OK, that makes my whole t rest of my turn way easier. Uh, I move four dudes. Uh, I guess I'm going to move them here. I think. Yeah. Uh, OK, and then I'm going to do my my mole's other, my, my, my squire's ability. So the four mole, I'm going to reveal Hey, this fox card, uh, and I'll build a market in here. Uh, and then the marshal also allows me to take a move, so I'm going to move these dudes here. What you doing? <laughs> uh, literally just defending my stuff, straight up. I'm not. <laughs> I, I like I just in case because I see your three dudes, <laughs> right? And I lose. So much stuff if my buildings blow up. <laughs> Do you? <Yeah. laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, and then I can show off two cards to uh, bring in a new friend. I'm going to do that. Uh, so one for each of these that I control. And bring in the final of the squires, which is the captain. Uh, I get a victory point, And they let me initiate a battle for free. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Uh, I don't have any cards that match the ones of Ian's thing, so I'm not doing that. Uh, but I can uh, draw two cards now because I built a market. And that's my turn. Not bad. We're going to start things off with oh, a... Oh, that's true. Kathleen gets an extra point because she blew up Ian's raid. Good catch to a chat. Hmm. We're going to spend some uh, bunny cards to place down some rabbit friends. They're back. Yep. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. Perfidity. <laughs> uh, oh, we don't have any tokens in occupied areas yet. So, uh, and I can't craft. Time for daylight. Time for plots. Well, the sun's shining, <laughs> the time for plotting. Time for plotting. <laughs> How many plots can you put out per turn? As many as I have uh, Corvids available for. He's got to wow. remove a Corvid to yeah. Yeah, ah. put down a plot. Well, actually, to put down a second one, i got to double oh. remove. Oh. So, so it's so, like one, two, four. Yeah. So it's so for the first one, it's one Corvid. Oh, boy. But for the second one, it would be removed two. I'm just going to do that one. Uh, and then I'm actually going to trick and uh, move this one over there. Mm. I smell a raid. Maybe? A eh, raid would be bad there. And then... Get to do one more thing. Oh, I can move some people around. Bulls are standing around. Wasn't there two Corvids over there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, yeah, well, probably not important. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's move you guys. More of these weird plot markers. It's Go probably nothing. I, I, I could, but, I, but I'm not. 
Uh, you can't move those dudes. Oh, right, you don't care about movement that's rules. The, that's the key. God the, damn birds. The final thing I have is a little effect called nimble. I can move regardless of who rules the clearing. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, respect, this feels like a bomb to me. And... Would a bomb remove your tunnel? Uh, if it's a yeah, it would because it's a uh, it's an it's a marker. Yes. It's a mark. Yeah. yeah. How do you earn points? Right by flipping. Your yeah, stuff. by revealing my right. plots. Sorry, the just the cam that line. In retrospect, this feels like a bomb. To me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's it's like the um. Have you ever seen the movie Event Horizon? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. When he when he sure when have. he opens that one mod when he's they're like hunting for the bomb, mm -hmm. and he finds it, and it just shows the the display on the bomb going three, two, and cuts back to his face as he's like, huh, oh. <laughs> it's like I found it. Yeah. He goes through like six or seven emotions in about half a second. It's beautiful. So I'd have to I, if I wanted to take the raft from here to here, I'd have the raft would have to be here, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. In that case, um, we'll move this friend up to here as my exertion step. All right, Cam, I'm, I gotta focus on him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's all up in my biz. <laughs> I think that's my turn. Okay. But uh, since we're at the top of the hour, do we want to take a contractually obligated break? I was about to recommend that, yeah. So uh, we're returning to Cam's turn, so it seems like a great time to take a little three minute break so we can run some ads, uh, cycle the fluids, get new ones put inside of us, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back with more Root after this. Welcome back everybody, it's time for more Root here on the AFK channel. We're uh, underway with this game. It's going great, there's plots, there's uh, communists, there's uh, all kinds of great things going on. We got on. everything. Yeah, we got, we've got secret plots, communists, Vicar mole Josephine. people. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's Cam's turn. All the, right. The the bird police, I guess. And uh, we're, we're prepared to see what's going to happen. What are you doing, Cam? All right. I'm going to add a wild card to the recruit pile. Ooh. Oh. So the wild cards are great for Cam because they allow you to do it in whatever clearing. Yeah. But I think you lose like extra points per like bird uh, thing when if you get to, if you're yeah you get if deposed. we collapse yeah yeah um, per bird card yeah yeah so right. right now if I get deposed I lose four victory points. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only something you have to worry about if you get deposed. Though. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sounds like somebody, somebody else's problem. Yeah. Okay, so bird card, I will recruit here. Uh-oh. Here. And here. Then we must move. Um, I would like to move using the fox move from here to here. Okay. And then Do I just want to draw a card? No, I think I'm okay without drawing a card. Do you want to come over here? You got a pretty good stack there. It's pretty neat. Oh. <laughs> They're massing we're, on the border. Yeah, we're just defining. Yeah, we're just defining our borders. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, a fortified border is okay. a peaceful border. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> right. That's that's <laughs> been a, that's been a foreign policy truism for a long time. If yeah. you have many many soldiers staring at each other across a border. Everything's tensions. Chill. Tensions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No so, accidents yeah. can happen like yeah. that. Hey, Sam. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got him spooked, Kathleen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Wait till they say my zine. <laughs> <laughs> battle. Yeah. I would like to um, kick out a bird or kick out the communists. I would like to. Uh, Hmm. So what's nice is Kathleen, so mouse clearings are done. Kathleen cannot cause another thing in a mouse clearing. But yes. fox clearings and bunny clearings are open season still. I think I need to clear out this sympathy token. All right, well that, then you'll have to give me a supporter, a fox, you'll have to give me a fox card. 
I cannot. All right. All right. So she gets to see your hand. Okay. Or wait. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then I get to draw a card and add it to my sympathy, add it to my supporters pile. Okay. And that just dies because they can't defend. No. Nope. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess actually you might roll a zero. It's true. That's 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 a good point. That's true. Yeah. That was not the case. We executed a textbook operation. <laughs> yeah. Boop boop. Um. Battle is complete. Now we may build. Does guerrilla warfare happen in the case of a token? I don't. I feel like you still get the higher value. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. In battle as defender, you use the higher roll, and the attacker uses the lower roll. But it's a, a token can't defend itself. I feel like it's an actual battle with like my things. It can't. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I would need to. I know there's some experts in chat. I feel like the. I think the woodland alliance just always uses the higher number, regardless. Like it's like you don't deal any damage back, but the. I think you. He, I. Yeah. I have no particular attachment mm -hmm. mm. to the outcome of that battle. Um, I'm, I'm going to double check just to make sure, <laughs> but uh, I think actually nothing ends up happening in that in that old combat aru. Um. Don't you get like a free hit against oh, the defenseless targets? Oh, that's true. Yes, that, yes. And that's the other okay, rule. Yes. Great. All right, everything's okay. fine. Yeah. So yeah. I build one roost in this fox clearing. And I guess Kim gets a victory point for that. Yes. yes. I get a victory okay. point, and I also get a bonus one for being a despot. Hmm. Um, Birds. <laughs> okay. That is my turn. I get four more victory points. Cam is a, almost halfway to victory. Whew. Yeah. Oh, what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Birdman. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I think it's... All right, it's time to... It's time. I mean, I only have two more turns until my government collapses. That's true. Right? Yeah. Oh, it just collapses on its own after... Well, if I can't place any more roosts... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's I see. Right. Like, I need one of you to either blow up my roost, or Can like. Do you have two roosts in the same place? There are two icons. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, think so. I think you yeah. can. I think you're good. Go for it, Kathleen. All right. Let's see. Seems like something they would have thought of. Yep. Oh, you cannot. I cannot? Ooh. Okay, well. Um, you can change your turn if that means. Yeah, that yeah. absolutely changes yeah. how I have to do everything. Absolutely. Roll, it back. Roll it back. That's fine. Uh, that changes quite a lot, actually. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, the, yeah I, I figure, I think, yeah. The so Eries can only have one per location. So why don't, we, why don't we take it all back? So you... I moved Fox to here? Uh, you moved from here to here for sure because there was yeah. four dudes there. I think, and then you also recruited one per and then, roost. Yeah, like that I believe. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all you did. And you put one fox thing, I believe, into the or no, you put a bird thing into the uh, recruit section. I think that was all you did. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I will I will continue to do that. Yep. I will put. Oh yeah, it might actually say it on the yeah, on the thing. I don't know, but it's fine. In a matching clearing, you rule without a oh, without a roost. Hmm. Okay, in that case, uh, we've recruited three there. Mm -hmm. I would like to for one of my move actions, like so. All right, so I'll need to give Kathleen a dilly bop, and I guess Kathleen, I, you can put your. Yeah. Thing I, there, and I guess whatever maybe, card you got goes to the top of there. I'm, yeah. Well, I'm gonna just shuffle it in. Sure, that works. Here you go. Easy to miss. Um, okay, outrage was paid. I would like to, then for my second move, mm -hmm. move from here to here. Mm. There you go. So, Kathleen, we get another card. Mm hmm. But you get to draw one. Because you use the raft. I do. Great. Uh, and then I will battle the. <laughs> now, this is a tougher one. <laughs> 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 I 
I would like to battle. Mm-hmm. That's worth noting that you, I guess, in Kathleen's case, you know that you gave her a bunch of bunny cards. Yes. Uh, in Ian's case, you know that he can just place bombs. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> which 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 group do you deal with? I bomb atomically. Uh. Oh. Ying. Ying. I think we still need to remove this fox. Okay. Okay. So, uh, in this case, I the think rolling we dice is a formality. Yeah, this yeah. this doesn't matter now. Okay. So, but that goes away, and then you give Kathleen another card. This worked out great for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you. So I will just take one off the top. Okay. Now I can build. There you go. Okay. Great. So. So you removed. One end, end token. Oh no, that was. Oh, sorry. That oh, yeah, right. That, so that you, remains there. So you removed end token. So that means you get two points. Yes. And then now then you to get, get four. four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. That feels like a good run back, and uh, with no mm -hmm. feel bads. Yeah. Uh, great. You've drawn your cards. So now it is. Or did you draw your cards? I did not. Okay. So you get two cards. Two. Dang. Kathleen. Uh, Got a lot of supporters. I believe. Um, let's see. I believe it's probably time to to. I think it might be time to revolt. Uh oh. Yugi Moto isn't gonna like this. Um, I think it's going to be a big explosion this in Bunny Town. This is going to be a big explosion <laughs> yeah. in Bunny Town. Yeah. Uh, but then you can build there again, Cameron. Your government will oh. collapse. Oh no! I get. I have to put down more things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this this Bunny clearing is going to revolt. There's too much stuff going on here. All right. This clears out. So you remove uh, one building of Cam, so that gets nets you a point. Yeah. Whew. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> Funny base. The military industrial complex really is what we're trying to satisfy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the uses we put it towards are completely irrelevant. This is where, where Cam's government is secretly funding the Woodland Alliance so that they mm -hmm. can continue to be. Yeah. We have to obey our economy. Yeah. However, that expresses itself here is way less interesting than what, <laughs> than being able to put things down. Do you remove the sympathy token too when you do a revolt? Mm, it doesn't say I have to, so I haven't been. Cool. Okay. Uh, because then otherwise I'd be able to right, get to easy just, points over yeah, and over again. That's totally fair. Mm -hmm. Sympathy uh, stays. But it is time to it is time to spread some sympathy. In fact, it is time to spread quite a bit of sympathy. Uh, actually, do I? Uh, it's just because a number of people in Twitch chat are saying this isn't one of my holes. This is the ruins. Yeah. My holes look like this. They're circular tokens. My hole looks like this. That hole looks like that. <laughs> that, that hole is a ruin. Yeah. That hole's got treasure in it. <laughs> that one's full this of dense people. This also has treasure <laughs> in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to spread a sympathy token here. Uh oh. I'm going to spread. Uh, I mean, maybe that's fine. I'm going to spread two sympathy tokens. So that actually, sorry, get you a point there. Uh, then I'm going to, um, let's see, I, I can pay for a fox clearing. I'm going to put sympathy back here. All right, and that gets you another point. All right. All right, that, has, that concludes that phase. Now it's time to craft using sympathy. Um, so I control two bunny clearing, so finally I can craft better burrow bank. Ooh, what does this do? At the start of Birdsong, you and another player draw a card. Oh, <gasps> that sounds really good. That's good for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, we Told find, you, we find, communists. Yeah. <laughs> it's symmetrical, therefore it's fair. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, then I can mobilize to, an, to add a hand from my, uh, from my, add a card from my hand to my supporter stack. Um, yes, I think I do want to add that. Uh, and then I can train to spend a card from a hand to uh, matching a built base to place a warrior in the office box. Eh. All right, on to evening. Military operations. 
I can I can do two now. I can move and recruit, and I can battle and I can organize. And it organizes removing a warrior to place sympathy in a clearing. Uh, but I think I'm going to. <sighs> Kathleen's got control of the raft too now. Oh no! <laughs> no, damn we it! We can't <laughs> tolerate another maritime power. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to build two rafts per year. Uh, in fact, I'm going to recruit again right there. All right. Okay. Uh, the and then the I uh, then I draw no, two cards nice. for the turn. Seems good. We're All limiting right. the size of the rafts to the largest ones we can build. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's mole time. Four moles get recruited into the burrow. Four moles enter. That's too Four many moles. moles leave. <laughs> too many moles. Uh, okay, now I gotta, I gotta do some extermination here. Is do a, you? I. So, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. I'm going to level with you. Mm -hmm. I would much rather be stopping Cameron. Yeah, yeah. But you also have things that just kill my stuff or take my things. So. It's very true. I don't know. So I think this one's a raid one. I I think that's a bomb. If it's a raid, it's actually not that bad. So I'm actually going to start off with combat, Ian. I'm going to fight you yep, here. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's not fair. It's just in the rules. Yeah. All right. So uh, three and a two. So I will destroy your things. Mm -hmm. uh, you only have one warrior, so you can only hit with the one. But mm -hmm. you also get the extra one, so... I take two, and I destroy your two things. Yep. And uh, I remove one of your tokens, so that gets me a victory point. Um, hmm. I am worried about all this. But maybe it's fine. Maybe we're buddies. Maybe, maybe. the crows are nice. Uh, so... Hmm. I know you haven't brought any peanuts. P peanuts? Crows love peanuts. Oh, as like tithe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you read the story about the one person who was like trading things with their crows? And at one point the crows brought them a 20? Yep. <laughs> Just like, where did you find this? <laughs> the be one of the best videos I've seen is a man somewhere in the world who has trained a starling to just fly out into the world, grab loose bills, and then come back into his home and just stuff them into his coffee table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally really? deniable. Yeah. Wow. Um, so that wasn't a raid token. So the only plots that you have are these two, right? Sorry, who said it wasn't a raid token? Uh, because if it was removed, yes, you would have. Yes, it would have. <laughs> 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 the rules. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. I, I, I'm trying to be a serious here, but also. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, Bold of you to assume I know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to, I think, for the last bit. Um, I'm just going to move. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, what's up? I should have drawn two cards. Oh. One for each base. I, I thought you said you drew three on your last turn. No, oh, maybe it... You know what? Someone in the chat will tell me if I should draw this card or not. Because you were saying I draw. I it's. I think one you said card, I draw. Oh yeah. One so card you draw plus one more. two. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, because you're showing two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're right. Uh, Sorry. Okay. No, that's all good. And as my second action, I'm just going to move, replace these moles up here. Um, now it's uh, my my ministers, so I can reveal a card to uh, to place something, in one of my areas. That is a hell of a sentence. Areas. One of my areas. Do you remember that one just for laughs bit, which was just like a five minute um, setup to be able to laugh at uh, a sports headline? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. That was just for laughs bits? Yeah, yeah, no, I think it was, it was just this guy kind of like reacting lewdly to completely innocuous sentences until they finally read a headline from a sports, like the sports <clears throat> section of the newspaper, which was, I think, Bill's Squeeze Out Browns. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Maybe if you can get to, if you can get on the Just for Laughs, go nuts. Yeah. Don't even have to be funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> You've made it. If you if you just talk with enough confidence, people will eventually laugh at your jokes because that's the social contract. <laughs> Ian, <clears throat> yes, Ben. Mm. Are we an evening or are we still battling? We're st I'm think so. I'm I'm trying to figure out my ministers, and I'm just sort of worried. But you know what? I you should be. <laughs> oh, why? Because <laughs> I've killed all your things. Well, no, this seems unreasonable. <laughs> Getting into your head. Yes, <laughs> all of these plots are bad for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to use my squire. Attacking you here. Okay, we're doing a second battle? Yeah. All right. Oh, Jesus. It's all right, that's a two. Two. And a two. two. So we trade? Yep, looks like it completely. There's nothing I can do about I, that. I would, is it a raid? It is not a raid. Uh, okay, that was actually my biggest worry. Okay, so these two die. I get another point. Um, oh, yeah, and that also That's does. also yeah. dead. Uh, and then I can uh, move as a free action, so I'm going to... I guess you would have taken another point of damage there, but you only had two guys. So yeah, there's only yeah. two, two friendos there. Um... I'll just scoot a dude there. And then, uh, great, this actually works out great. I will reveal this mouse card mm -hmm. uh, and build a market there. Uh, now I can reveal cards. Oops, this one's already been revealed. I can reveal cards to get a new friendo. Um, so I'm going to reveal two fox clearings and a mouse clearing uh, to get a noble. Oh. Uh, and this noble is going to be uh, a mayor. I have a mayor, a, a, a mole mayor. Uh, and his is that I can take the action of any of these ones. Ooh. So he's like a double up kind of one. <laughs> uh, and that gets me two victory points. And then uh, now I discard any of the revealed uh, bird cards and uh, return all the other ones. And I can craft, which I am going to actually do, uh, I have two fox clearings with buildings in them. So I'm just going to make this sword. It's on display. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You yeah. get two victory points exactly, for it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then I will also discard or build. Can I? I can I? I can't. I imagine I can't use the same ones um, repeatedly. That wouldn't make any sense. Does it? Just want to make sure that I can't. Can I reuse the same buildings to craft things, or can I only craft once a you turn? Say pa. I think I can only craft once a turn. God, it's been so long since we played this. Discard. Well, I mean, that's the trick. Is it? It's, it depends on what. It, you cannot craft a persistent effect if you have an identical persistent effect. When you craft an immediate effect, each crafting piece may be activated only once per turn. There we go. So I will say that, yeah, I did this and this. So if I wanted to, I could use this or this. Um, I'm just trying, because I'm going to have to auto discard if I don't <laughs> start getting rid of things. Nope, that's fine. Uh, all right, so now I draw one card plus one per showing, so in this case, three. And I got to discard some cards down to five. So I'll discard a domination card. Ooh for foxes, and... Somebody else can pick that up, right? Yep. Um... Dominion. This tax collector. Uh, and that's my turn. Go ahead, Ian. All right. Let's start with crafting. No crafting. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start, then move to the flipping. I figured the... it was happening. And what is it? We've only had one there, so we'll have to remove that, friend. Yeah. Flip it's... that, and hey! It's... It was raid! Yeah, it's the, the raid. So... Well, so that doesn't work the way you're thinking, just as a heads up. So raid is when it's removed. Yes. So you can flip it to score points. Which I'm going to do. Yeah, but uh, it has we ha like it has to get attacked. But now I know it's there, mm -hmm. and now it's kind of like that risk award of like, do I want to leave it there, just getting you free mm -hmm. victory points, mm -hmm. or explode it to make your, your dudes come out? So we're gonna do that. Uh... So 
get to, I, for each flip, I get one victory point. So that's at least the case. There, there you go. And then it's recruitment Ian's on time. the board. And we're going to do that in the mouse clearings. So bring those back there. Uh, outrage. Does oh, it, you don't oh actually no, have to remove your bird either. That's cool. Oh, I don't have to remove the bird. For You're flipping. right, yeah. So I yeah. guess that goes back It's just back you there. have to have a dude there Great. to activate the plot. Ooh. Yeah. And, uh, so you say that, that creates outrage? Uh, it shouldn't, actually. Because no, you're, no, you're only, it's you're only if you scoot on it. Yeah, you have so. to cross my territory. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You can Golly. be born. <laughs> He's halfway <laughs> to victory. I tried, my d Uh, next up, plot. Let's see what we can plot out here. Hmm. So is it, does Ian get one victory point every time he flips one, or is it that at the end of the turn, every one that's flipped gives him one victory point? He gets one victory point for each one that's flipped. So if yeah. that's still there and he flips another one, he gets two points. Oh, but that only fires when he flips one. When he flips. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. OK. Let's see. Oh, that's such a good showing earlier. One plot there. And yeah, one point for face up plot when any plot is flipped up. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to leave that raid sitting there. So you go. I've, I've decided I'm not fighting you anymore. <laughs> Unless you start doing that again. <laughs> Caveat don't yeah. do that. <laughs> no, I'm just realizing I need to. Uh, uh, the resources are difficult on this one. Oh, yeah. The, the Corvettes seem so not my thing, but they seem so cool. Yeah, they're, it's fun, but it's, it's there's a difficulty brain. there. OK, yeah. uh, I did one plot. Uh, we're going to, oh. Hmm. No, that wouldn't work out the way I wanted it to. Let's just do a move. And we're going to move you over here. That would include. That would induce revolt. Yeah, outrage. Yep. <coughs> Let's do that. Nope, can't do that because that means I'd have to spend more. Okay, damn it. Uh, yeah. What the hell? We'll do it over there. So I have to spend two crows for the second plot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Third time is the charm. Oh, uh, let's send some friends over here. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. All righty, Cameron. Okay. Do you did you exert? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exert was taking an extra daylight action, which is with the second move. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I add one card to the decree, which, mm, again, will go on, will be a bird card I'm adding to the recruit track. Then I recruit four little dudes, you two of which to, have to be on Fox. Uh -huh. You need to recruit some people just to keep track of your size of your decree. Yeah. <laughs> My decree is so huge. It's getting pretty thick, yeah. Mm. Um, the volume of your decree. Problematic. Then we will move from here to here using the free move. And then using fox move. Ooh. Outrage. <laughs> also, the mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you may have that. Uh, and then I believe I need to squish something. Mm -hmm. uh, that only has one building icon, right? Uh, or one building point? 
Yes, it looks like. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, we're going to need to clear that in order to build a roost. Oh, it's I a see. It's a simple civic thing. Okay. Hmm. Big fights, big fights. Uh, I'm going to play this ambush card. Okay. At the start of battle, Defender may play uh, to deal uh, may play to deal two immediate hits, then discard. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, all right. So, two. It's two two, basically. Yeah. Right. Because Kathleen gets the higher. So, two of those, and then the mice die. Right. But I cannot build a roost. Yeah. The time of the despot seems to be finally down, but yeah. holy crap, did he do a good job. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I can't. Oh, right, because it has the render roost there. Yeah. Yep. I need, needed somebody to attack me. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that is the way of things. Uh, goodbye. And then I lose five victory points. Mm hmm. Are these all discarded? Uh, everyone's but your viziers. Yes. And then you get to pick a new friend. Even to kings he comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In which case, I believe it is time for... Hmm. The charismatic leader, uh, who has recruit and battle. Ooh. Oh, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> Time for fighting. Yep, and places one extra warrior, Ooh. or you place two warriors every time I recruit. Ooh, you know, okay. only fight. He's a good way to build back up after taking losses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then. I draw two cards. Nice. And how many points do you score? I score three. Does turmoil cause your turn to actually auto end? I, I thought there was something about it. Uh, discard decree, accept viziers, flip new leader face down, face down and choose a new one. Reassign viziers. And then that's it? Immediately end daylight and go to evening. Ah, yeah. perfect. There you go. Because it was my build phase. Yeah, and you score points still in yep. the, the evening, so you get... Three back. Yep. So you only lost two for that. That seems not bad. That's yeah, although, uh, hold on. Does removing at least one enemy building or token? Nope, not armies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I actually think that was a great turmoil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You only lost two. That seems pretty good. Yep. All right. That's, that's what the charismatic leader is saying, too. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah like, no. This was a necessary. Yeah, evil. a peaceful <laughs> transfer of power. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is it the Americans say? No other, uh, no other government experiences a peaceful transfer of power. This is unique in the world. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else, whenever government trend flips over, just utter yep. turmoil. Yeah, all utter the time. chaos. The United States is the only power in the world that experiences a peaceful transfer of power. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, the CCP tran... Uh... Anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, at, hey, at the start of my turn, because I have better Burrow Bank, me and another player draw a card. Ian, you seem like you need a lot of cards. I could use a few cards. You, how about you draw a card? I would love to, mm. thank you. Looks like they're working together, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Get them! <laughs> All right, so I've drawn a card. Uh, now... It is time to revolt and spread sympathy. Oh, I need to look at my supporters for that. Uh, remove two supporters matching a sympathetic clearing and or, yeah, all right. Let's see. I am going to spread some, uh, I'm going to spread some sympathy to this mouse clearing over here, discarding two mice to do it. You got it. Come on in. Listen, we understand the little people. Like, we simply want to rule over you. We don't hate you. We're just better than you. <laughs> we why need does, you. Why does this remind me of preschool? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, now uh, that's my that's my bird song phase in daylight. I'm just gonna mobilize, add some cards to my supporters. What have I gotten there again? Why can't I remember this for more than five seconds? It's okay. Um, and uh, that is why you are not required to remember. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go like that. And then I'm also going to spend a card from my hand to train to place a card. Uh, spend a card from a hand matching a built base mouse. I have a built mouse uh, to uh, place a warrior in the officer's box. There you the go. third officer. Now I can move into my military operations in the evening. First, I'm going to do two recruits. Then I'm going to do... A move. Get him! <laughs> ah, the mice are coming over. But he's going. It's on an vacation. amphibious operation. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the. I want the card, right? I oh, that's card, true. So, yeah. So I get to draw a card for that. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, um, then I'm going to go to my end step. <laughs> Do you want to deal with exposure? Oh, I can try to ex uh, try to expose a plot. Mm -hmm. If you've got a mouse card, or I guess a wild card. Yeah, I don't have no. I have no clue what that could be. And no problem. So I'm gonna draw my three cards for the turn. Done. All right. Uh, in the bird song, the moles come down, uh, and they move into the burrow. Now I get to take two actions. <laughs> I hate this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate this so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't want to fight you anymore. <laughs> no, no. Please. Uh, so, hmm. I do kind of want that boat. <laughs> that boat looking pretty good, though. <laughs> uh, it's a nice boat. It is a nice boat. Hmm. But maybe I just like defend what I've got. Maybe what I've got is good. Hmm. Actually, getting victory points is good. So what I'm going to do is, hey Kathleen. Yeah. Uh, this dude's going to fight your sympathy token. Okay. There you go. <sighs> Boink. Oh shoot! Did I give myself victory points for? Uh, you might not have. So we'll go two. There, and there we are. <laughs> yeah, and I gain one. Uh, and then we're gonna move all my dudes out of the hole. Uh, now we move on to my ministers. Uh, I'm going to reveal. Hmm, I'm just going to take a move. Like so. Oh, right. You don't care about ruling roosts, though, do you? No. <laughs> I'm keeping these dudes here. That is annoying. <laughs> so I'll do this. Put two there. Uh, and then I can battle something. Uh, no, I'm good. In fact, I think I'll use my mayor to... Mm, no. I'm going to scoot these uh, friendos here. Perfidity! Yeah, and I'm going to fight Cam. Uh, three and one, so I'll kill All your right. roost and I'll lose one, buddy. And gain a victory point. Uh, all right, then we'll move into the revealing thing. I'm actually going to do something. Uh, no, I'm going to look at what my ministers do. <laughs>
I'm going to reveal three cards, uh, one of which is a, I guess I, this is nowhere on the camera. I'm going to reveal three cards. Uh, so boop, boop, and a wild card in this case, let's say a mouse one uh, to make a, another noble, uh, which is going to be the brigadier, which is like the squire, but better. Take up to two moves or initiate up to two battles. Wow. Uh, and then this card goes discard. These go back to my hand. I can craft if I would like to. I'm going to use the other uh, fox to craft this anvil. Uh, and gain two victory points. Ooh. Sword and an anvil. Sword and an anvil. We go to war, and then I draw three. And that's my turn. Uh, one of your little crowns goes on the deal. Yes, right? thank you, which I should get two victory points for that. If I didn't do that already. No, you uh, I think not. you did. Yeah. I, or, you're at 15 now? I was at 12. At the, no, you were at 11 at the start of the turn. Right, and I removed two tokens. Crafted for two. So I don't think I did. Yeah, no, that seems yeah, right. That seems right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Nice Go way. ahead, buddy. That felt like a good turn. We'll see if I was correct in leaving you to do your illicit activities. Can't. So we're going to recruit. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to choose mice token, mice clearings. One in every mouse clearing. Mm hmm. There are so many. Yeah, there are. It's great. Four. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's a discard. And daylight. Mm -hmm. Making pl making plots. Plots and plots and or nope, nope, nope. No, we're just uh plots and I like the the moles in that in that upper mouse clearing are just like, have you noticed that there are more, More crows than moles <laughs> here now? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't read into it. We're just coming up to see the land people. Yeah, plotting here. Yes. Hmm. And that's it for that. Uh, I can trick some people into some things here. Okay, I can't do that. Which one is it? You could move that one over there, right? I couldn't actually. Oh, it has to be face down? Yeah, they either have to be both face down or both face up. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Do those two. No, let's do that one and that one. Hmm. And that is about all I'm going to do. So I will draw one more card. I, I hope Ian's just changing. They're actually the same type. He's just <laughs> flipping them to mess with people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, going cross eyed yeah. here, being like, Shasha. <laughs> That one feels balmy to me. That could be. What does extortion do again? Extortion, a when flipped, take a random card from each player who has any pieces in that clearing. Okay. When face up, I draw an extra card in the evening. Okay. Bomb removes everything. Yep. Raid is put every put one dude each in each adjoining one. Yeah. Extortion removes a card. What's the final one? Snare. When face up. Right. Can't move. Yep. All right. My turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like like, the bomb one is very scary, but the other ones are, like, not so bad. None of them are good. I mean, yeah, they're not great. I uh, guess the snare one is particularly bad against Cam. But I put one loyal vizier, mm -hmm. or one bird in recruit. That's all for this turn, I think. Slow progression. Yeah, we're going to focus on internal security. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put one... here, which turns into two, and then I will put one here, which turns into two. Uh oh. Okay. So, we have no move, 
that's fine. Um, then I would like to do battle. I can do one battle. I would like to blow up this plot. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just going to go away and you're going to get hit from one event. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that is not an issue. A point for Cam. Unless it's a raid. Yes. yes. Um, that's my turn. I score two victory points and I draw two cards. Then I discard down to two cards, or down to five. I would like to discard um, this root T. All right. OK. It's time to start spreading sympathy. Give me sympathy. All right. I'm going to spread some sympathy here by getting rid of two foxes. And so that's two points. Then I will spread some sympathy into a mouse clearing. Uh, let's see. It must be adjacent, so I could do this mouse clearing or this mouse clearing. So if you do this one, you have to do an extra card because of martial law. Right. All right, well, over here. Sympathy. Yeah. So that's another two points. Mm-hmm. All right. That's all I can do. Okay, now I can do some crafting if I want. I don't think I have anything good to craft still. Uh, then I can... Um, <clears throat> Mobilize, adding friends to my stack. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, all right. Time for military operations. I can take three. I'm going to organize to remove this guy here and put some sympathy here. Mm. And I get three points. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. We're all tied up. Then I'm yes. going to... <laughs> Everyone's all tied up. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> recruit and recruit. 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 All right. Uh, and then I draw three cards. One, two, three. Hmm. Does there seem to be more of them? Yeah, they're, um, <laughs> over, they in fact, over half of this forest is sympathetic to them. <laughs> we've, been, we've been organizing a series of spoken word nights. Oh, good. I just really think that the message is resonating with the youth. <laughs> they're spreading like rodents. <laughs> I'm, I'm a collaborative clear. author on the Port Huron statement. Mm -hmm. the, the first one, not the later watered down one. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, I actually only have two warriors. Clearly, left. you haven't been cracking down yeah. enough yeah. on the Woodland Alliance. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to. I gotta go stop somebody. That's like I guess my job. I feel like it has to. I feel like it has to be Kathleen or Cam. I'm sorry. Did. Did I draw from Better Burrow Bank at the beginning of my turn? I don't think you did. So you I don't think I it. did, and somebody else gets to draw a card. Um, let's see. Ian, you still have the least amount of cards. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all right. So I think... I just... I want to go fight. But Ian's building this army. And while I want to let Ian do his thing, one turn of Ian getting to sit there mm -hmm. blows my stuff up. Yep, <laughs> yep. No, that's it, how the game works. Yeah, it's, so it's like... <sighs> the objective of the game is to win the game. Yeah. yeah, but well, I mean, but winning the game, I feel like, involves stopping some people. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> and it's, the question is, yeah, if you concentrate on Ian, is somebody else going to run you over? Yeah. Um, we do have the flaw here that we are frequently way too nice to each other. Yep, it's true. <laughs> so, 
All right, I'm going to move the these ear. friends. Here. The eerie with the charismatic leader. <laughs> yeah. Outrage. Oh, uh, right. Truly outrageous. So I need a bunny card. I don't have a bunny card. And I will just draw a card. Was the outrage? I like the outrage. Was just you clearing, clearing your, throat. your throat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> uh, so that was one move. I'm going to. I guess I'll attack there. Kathleen, feel free to draw a card. <laughs> Get rid of your sympathy token. Okay, and that's fair. It. Draw. Um, I'm at the point where I need to fight things to earn points, so uh, I will. So that was a move and an attack. So those were my, that was my action. Now I do my minister's stuff. I'm going to use the squire to move here. I'm going to use the noble uh, to go one, two, uh, and then the brigadier, or sorry, the, that was the brigadier going two, uh, and then the squire is going to start a fight over here uh, with Ian. All right. Uh, so, what is? Uh, you have to craft that before you can use Do it. Do I have to craft that? Yeah, okay. that's why it's got the well, crafting symbol there. Then, um, cool. All right, so you deal one damage to me and I kill your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> outrage. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> I still don't have any mice. <laughs> uh, and then, all right. I suppose, can I do something there? I probably should. I'll uh, use this uh, wild card uh, to build a uh, market here. Uh, so that goes there. Uh, and now I can reveal cards to do a thing. I'm going to reveal some amount of cards. Uh, I'm going to reveal three to build the banker. So I can spend any number of cards of the same suit to score victory points. Worth that. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, so these are all revealed. Uh, so that goes there. That is my last of my nobles. I get two more victory points. Um, now I discard any of the bird cards I had. Uh, these go back into my hand. I'm going to craft. I have a bunny one. Yes? Do I not have a bunny one? Do you have a bunny clearing? <clears throat> uh, I need a uh, building. Oh. A bunny clearing. I don't have a bunny clearing. But I have two in the fox. So I'll uh, show off fox folk steel and craft the other sword <laughs> for two mm. more victory points. Mm. Uh, and then I draw four cards. Um. Unless, no, yeah. Uh, and then I got to discard one. So I'll discard this and pass. All right, craft. Can I craft? Flip. Can flip. Fuck that area in particular. The bomb! What happens? Uh, but also, two victory points, please, for just uh, flipping over. Yeah, the there you go. All right. That's something. So what happens? Uh, everything goes away. Oh, no. So you get another two victory points as well. Oh, for, yeah, for, for blowing up two of Kathleen's things. Yep. Nice. That's useful. There we go. That's the Corvids are on the board. <laughs> Love it. We'll see how that turns out for us. Mm -hmm. uh, recruit. Oh, where are we recruiting now? Honestly, I still feel like the mouse is the correct place to be. So let's uh, discard the sappers. And add more crows to mouse clearings. Two, three, 
add four over there. All right. Uh, daylight. Oh, I think. Oh, then you remove the token. Yeah. Yep. So the bomb does go yeah, away. Yeah, the bomb goes away. Yep. There are some that don't, which is why you can plan that. Uh, let's see. Plot. I guess the bomb doesn't do much after it's blown up, it just kind of sits there. Mm. Oh, you do have to give Kathleen a card for removing the sympathy token, oh. though. Well, I mean, you've done that for me already, so there you go. Uh, it has to be a mouse one, if you have it. I do not have a mouse one. Okay, the, then in that case, you keep that and I draw a card. Okay. Let's see here. Let's remove one from here to create, put down a thing. Oh, does Kathleen lose cards for having an HQ get blown up? The base is removed from the map, discard all matching supporters, and remove half the officers rounded up. Oh, right. So Kathleen loses an officer. I have two officers, so I had three. Mm. And then any mouse supporters you have. Uh. No, in your support deck. Like oh. Any mouse supporters. Okay, that's it for my poll. Daylight, uh, and now evening-wise, I am going to draw a card. That and that'll good. be it. it. Turns out the alliance of adorable woodland creatures was no match for high explosives. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that actually seems like a great uh, point to take our second break. Yes. Uh, we're a little over the hour, but uh, I felt like ending just before Ooh. we get into Cam's turn is a good stop. So uh, we'll be right back. I feel like we're coming up to the conclusion of this yeah. game. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things I... can start snowballing here yeah. very quickly. Yeah, so uh, don't go away. More Root after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the finale of, uh, of AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network of this Root game. Uh, where sparks have been flying in this heated battle, uh, and where I'm excited to see. I feel like we're closing up at the end. We're going right into Cam's turn, and uh, Ian's on the board, which makes me very excited. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see these Corvettes start blowing stuff up. I mean, you did. Look, you blew stuff up last turn. It was great. I'll only take pity if it gets me points. Yes. <laughs> All right. <gasps> well, in your mix. Let's, uh, let's go. Go ahead, Cam. Okay. So... Uh, I would like to add a card to the decree, yep. which will be this fox card into Recruit. Seems One, good. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to be fine for at least another turn. <laughs> Time to fight. Time to fight. Or, actually, no, hold on. I want to move that into move. Sure. Oh, that was where okay. I was going. Yeah. Yeah, okay. go for it. I had a plot. I mm -hmm. had a plot. You're not the only one. <laughs> and I did not just put my cards on the table face up, chat. <laughs> that was on purpose. It was strategic. Um, okay. I would like to craft a crossbow. Because I've got a roost in a fox thing. You did it! I did it! Yeah, I did it! Cam crafted. You get a victory point. This God. crossbow If that crossbow wasn't like, if, if no crossbows were left, to <laughs> crossbow, like, no. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> just, I just burst into oh. tears and run out of the room. <laughs> Forget to turn off my mic, so yeah. you just hear me like crying all the way down the street. <laughs> what a crossbow. Uh, all right, and that can actually go into the, the discard pile if you'd like. Yes. Uh, sir, sir, can we use the crossbow for the battle? No, you no. look at the crossbow. It's just for looking <laughs> it's at. It's public art. It's an ornamental crossbow. This is the good crossbow in case the vagabond comes over. <laughs> Don't walk between the crossbow and the speaker. All right. Um, okay. I would like to put one recruit here, which becomes two, and then one recruit here, which becomes two. Uh -huh. Then I must move either from or to a fox. Whip. We retain control of the seas. <laughs> and you get a card. And I get a card. Yeah. Now it is time to do battle. Um, 
I would like to go to war against this sympathy token, please. <laughs> Card, please. The glorious battle <laughs> against <laughs> one one excited mouse. Yeah. Freedom. Right. Cam gets a point. Uh. We will undergo another turn of mild swelling. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's the beef. Giggity. Um. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, I get two victory points, and I draw two cards. Sounds good. Kathleen. And I, then at, I discard. At the begin at the start of Birdsong, you and another player draw a card. Is it uh, Ian, you can draw a card. Uh, Thank you. you. There's so many cards. I guess it's not a scam since we're in the lead. All right. <laughs> spread Ain't sympathy. Ain't that always the way. Yeah. Time to spread some sympathy. Uh, I'm going to spread some sympathy. To, I've got two bun cards, and I can spread sympathy over here to this clearing. Hmm. Okay. You need you've got mouse and fox open right now. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But I don't have the right things to revolt. But that's oh yeah, okay. I'm just I'm just <laughs> looking in the places with which my things can explode if possible. Um. All right. Protecting my assets. Let's see, can I craft anything? Hmm. These are good looking meeple. Yeah. I love this. Still baffled by the choice to represent the Corvids as bunnies. Yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Does their deception know no bounds? I'm normally a pretty calm man. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I can craft something. I can craft some investments. Whoa, with two bunnies. That's three victory points? Holy moly. All right. That's my crafting for the turn. Now it's time to, to, to train. Let's see. I've just got to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, now it's time to train by going like, yeah, I'm going to discard that. And mobilize. Don't stop me now. We're having such a good time. Oh my gosh. We're putting the call. Got to discard down to five. I People. Walk through my territory a lot and beat up my dudes a lot last time. Yeah. So it was. Women in cards. It was very silly. Um, they're no good to me out of my hand, or they're, they're better to me here. Uh, and then I'm going to, I can do this as many times as I want. So I can, in fact, place an, I can actually discard another card from my hand and place another officer in my box. Ha ha. All right. Um, let's see. Then we move into evenings, which is I can move, recruit, battle, and organize. Um, so let's see. Um, I can. It's all very hard. All right, Kathleen's recruit. Oh, getting sympathy. Hmm. Ooh, children. Uh, all right, so I've done three actions to put some sympathy back there in my mouse clearing. Uh, and so I get two victory points for that. Ooh, child, things about to get sympathetic. <laughs> and then I, oh, draw two cards, and I have to discard down to five cards. Ho, ho. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
first, I only have one warrior left. <laughs> one lone warrior goes into the uh, into the burrow. Um, I feel like this game could go any direction at this point. Out of curiosity, yep. Just for the sake of argument, how do we remove your ministers? Uh, you, you blow up a building. Okay. Yep. Great. And do you choose which minister is lost? It goes from best to worst. Okay. So it go in this case, my nobles would go before my squires. Gotcha. <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah. Um, hmm. So uh, I guess I'll do my actions here. Let's go. Moving. Actually, first things first, Ian, I'm going to fight you. Okay. First things first, you're gonna fight me. Yes. <laughs> One. Victory. <laughs> I win. Cool. One. Okay. So I take two, and you take one. It looks yes. like. Yes. Because you've got so. a plot yep, there. That's right, and that plot stays. Damn. Um. Less than ideal. So I just, I just attacked. So I'm going to move in. Uh, and those are my two actions. Now I can do my minister stuff. Uh, I'm going to fight you mm -hmm. there. Uh, so I take two, and you lose both your things. Mm -hmm. I get a victory point. Oop. Uh, so that was that one. Now I can move. Okay. Moving. Kathleen, uh, so I did the battle. I'm going to use my noble, or my brigadier. Kathleen, I'm going to attack your sympathy token. Uh, I need a rabbit card. There's a bun. I get a point. Uh, and then the other battle will be here. Kathleen, I don't have any more bunnies. And I'll kill that sympathy token. Uh... The noble I'm trying to see if I can win. <laughs> uh, so I've done the, I'm trying to also figure out, so I haven't done move with that. I'll I don't think there's any way I can move. I don't think there's any way I can get two tokens here. Which leaves me pretty open. Uh, okay, I'll move. Like so. This is the uh, my mayor doing the brigadier's thing. So I can activate two moves. And 
the noble, which is or the banker noble, is spend any number of cards of the same suit to score equal victory points. I'm going to scroll, discard my whole hand, uh, saying four foxes. Wow. To get four victory points. Um, so these all go away. So not quite enough. Uh, and now I'm going to discard any of my things, return cards to my hand, craft nothing, uh, and I draw a four. Mm. That's the turn. I definitely anticipate uh, defending myself for a while. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. All right. Crafting, as we know, has been blocked from my abilities. So we're going to flip a conspiracy and get two victory points. And look at that. It's extortion. Ah, What's from that? Kathleen. So that's what does that nice. do? Uh, well, when flipped, I get to take a random card from each player who has any pieces in that clearing. So that's you. Thank you for a good card draw. And uh, while face up, I get to draw an extra card in the evening, which is nice. 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 Okay. Oh, and sorry, you got uh, two points, right? Yes. Boink, boink. Let's move on to recruitment. Um... Um. <laughs> you know, I thought I had a plan. And I think we're going to change the plan just a bit. Let's go to recruitment in mouse spaces. Mouse. Mouse. And mouse. And mouse. Hmm. And then we move on to daylight. Yeah. Where we get to have three actions. We're going to move. Ian, cousin, brother. Yes. If you attack here, I can complete the bumping off of the marketplace, which will slow down Ben for maybe a turn. We should absolutely do that. Um, let suck. me finish my move here. Dear and, God. <laughs> and I let you back into this fight. Yep. And we're going to... Uh, <laughs> Wait, why would you attack me? <laughs> why would I attack you? <laughs> I've done nothing but attack you all game. Yes, we're, 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 we're going to plot. That's our second option. Okay. And uh, then, yes, I would like to attack you in uh, the clearing over there. Oh, over there? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Good fight. Yep. Really. Good job. Hey, everyone. how's it going? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, okay. If you want something done right. <laughs> Cameron? Cameron? <laughs> oh, exerting. We're going to exert ourselves because sure, we got some pretty fair. good cards. We're going to have another battle in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, before that happens, uh, I'm going to ambush you and kill two dudes. Cool. Uh, then I guess we won't be rolling any dice. <laughs> Is it is it really an ambush if it only happens the second time they Yeah, they're just like, We're gonna attack you. Just kidding. And we're like, we're gonna go hide in these trees. Yep. <laughs> Don't oh, read into that. <laughs> yep. That's my turn. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We, 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 we should get twangy we, we, folk music we, 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 for when we, we, we play this. <laughs> yeah, two people saying they missed that from the digital Doom. version. Doom. Doom. Boo, 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 boo. <sighs> All right, I may add some. I must add something to the decree. I want to see the the uh, the title screen of the digital thing. What 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 do the moles and the crows play? What instruments? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will add bunnies to the move order. Since I have a completely invincible stronghold in a that, bunny sector. That is true. <laughs> the bunny sector. Unfortunately, uh, Paul, the, the, the crows really just work on modular synths. So <laughs> Maybe uh, I like the cables. Recruit there. <laughs> if Max is willing to play, we just have Max standing behind us for, for three hours <laughs> playing the violin. <laughs> and then recruit here. Mm, I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, this will be. Uh, then I would like to move. Yep. Using the bunny move. 
or the fox move, excuse me. And then using the bunny move. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Meeting engagements are very rare in yeah. actual warfare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where two sides run into each other at full speed. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I can only do one battle per turn. Yep. Could you roll a three for me? I'll work on it. Double threes. Yeah. Big bloodshed. Yeah. I mean, that I, I definitely need you to kill something here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one apiece. One apiece. Well, it's just the ante that armies have just to make sure they're serious. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh I God. forgot to craft. Go for it. Okay. I wanted to craft this sword because sure. I've got Bruce in... Uh, you yeah. can't craft the sword. It's no gone! Left. You know that thing that I said ah! literally last turn? <laughs> the world has too many swords. Uh, the world, I mean... It's, but I've it's, got all these plowshares. It's shares. beautiful, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's learned how to craft, and then there's one last hurdle to get over. We've yeah. all been talking about the communists and the terrorists, but the yeah. fact that we have a planned economy right up here is yeah. evidence of what kind of game this no is. No more than two swords. <laughs> hey, can, can, can I borrow the sword? I have to fight tomorrow. <laughs> I no. score two victory points. Yep. <laughs> and I draw two cards. No one can take that from me. And then I discard. Mm hmm. I discard this worthless filth. <laughs> All right. Is it my go? It is your go. All right. First. It is time for revolt. Mmm, in the mouse clearing. Ooh, mm. the Corvids. Mm. All right. So you removed one, so you get mm -hmm. a point there. Didn't we already have a revolution in this clearing? We absolutely did. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to spread sympathy. The Corvids are like, eh, what's the likelihood of them getting upset again? <laughs> After we've toppled their union. <laughs> Uh, first, I'm going to spread sympathy paying an extra one to go here because it's martial law because there's so many crows there. Yep. Mm. Uh, I don't mix us up like that. <laughs> we have crows. <laughs> Those are cops. We're crows. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Terrorist. Uh, then I'm going to uh, spread sympathy in a fox clearing with a lot of stuff. Don't you dare. No, no, it's going over <laughs> here. Um, so that's four points. One, two, three, four. All right. So that's my sympathy train, my sympathy time and my... Uh, that was four supporters? Yeah. I cleared my supporters <laughs> out. Or I guess it would have had to have been six, right? In total for yes. supporters? Yeah, yeah no, nice. I... Yeah, that, that was a, uh, an empty discard pile. Yeah. When, All right. When you uh, revolted in the in that uh, clearing in the bottom left, did you destroy one of Ian's? Yep, I yep. already got the points. Point. Okay. Yeah. All right. I guess it wasn't a raid. No, thankfully. Um, oh shoot! I didn't draw my card at the start of Bird Song. Go for it. <laughs> Who do you want to give it to? Cameron. <gasps> for me. I see. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so now it is. Daylight. Um, so let's see. Uh, add a card to my hand and train. And I can craft using sympathy. How many cards you got there, Ben? Three. Craft using sympathy. Turn your sympathy into a sword. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we're out of swords. Like, literally, <laughs> literally, you must actually do it. Figure it out. We've got a, a bag, a boot. <laughs> Turn your sympathy into a boot. <laughs> wait. They're made for walking. I'm going to craft this because I have a, I'm going to craft a bindle. Oh. Because I have a bunny, a mouse clearing. Nice. That gets you a point. And then, do I control two mice clearing? I do. I'm going to craft a gently used knapsack to get myself another point. Ooh. -wee. All right. Now for, now for the evening phase. Uh, I can do three things. 
Mm -hmm. I can recruit, I can move, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit three times here to defend my base. You got it. And then I'm going to draw three cards at the end of my turn. Go ahead. All right. Um, start of my turn, I get four dudes in the burrow. Uh, and then I go to the building around phase. Um, I'm going to use one move action and bring one guy there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use one move action and move one guy there. Uh, I'm going to take an action of a minister, uh, which is the banker, and discard three mice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Get That's three points and uh, go for the victory. Cool. Thank you. That was a good game. Mm -hmm. The uh, the moles seem like if they don't get their buildings kicked over, yeah, uh, they get out of control. The amount of actions that oh you get God, to do yeah. well, is the, absurd. The minute you get that noble out there, you are just this. Absolutely... Yeah, this banker is... There's some really, really cool ones in here. So the, the lords are, are really strong. Like the Earl of Stone, uh, plus one, you just get uh, a point per citadel on the map every wow. turn. Uh, same with the Baron of Dirt, which is for the markets. And then this one is just, if I have three tunnels, I get plus two points a turn. You, Man, how irritated must the Baron of Dirt be next to the Earl of Stone? Mm -hmm. Where you're just like, well, why does he get you know, <laughs> the barony the bar yeah, of Yeah, the Earl dirt. of Stone, the Baron of Dirt, and the Duchess of Mud. I mean, he's, at <laughs> oh, least well, got yeah, a Johnny like, Cash yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can have it all. What would you think of the birds? I or like the, them. The, sorry. I, I like the Corvids. They're interesting, but if you do not get on the track of getting plots out and open, immediately mm -hmm. you are turbo fudged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like you want to get like either uh, like extortions kind of out onto the board to get like that cards or They're something. They're extremely or... slow. Uh, yeah. A slow faction because you need two full turns to be able to get anything actually off. Like, like if it had passed, boom. But mm -hmm. it wasn't going to get there because no. we had that up. Yeah, it took me a little while. Like, I mean, the the realistically, if you start knocking over ministers, like the crowns are permanently gone, so I can't like I can only recruit so many right. times, right? Right, so, right. Yeah, they're they're interesting. I really like them. I I would say that this is probably a faction that I would pick again in oh, the future. Oh, absolutely going to be playing these again in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I They'll, continue to love the Airy. They're great. They, I've loved playing them in the past when you've been around. Mm -hmm. And the Woodland Alliance? I like the Woodland Alliance. You did a good job policing up my tokens because otherwise you would have you would have been losing buildings, but I never got a chance to. Yeah, I've learned that you just kind of want to like just just eat the card and get the token out of your spot like it's Yeah. It, you know. I, I felt like everyone was uh, more ready to fight the Woodland Alliance this game than they have in pre. Like people have learned that you can't I... let the Woodland Alliance look get how away. high my score got. Just because, like, <laughs> I just started like the more I spread, the more you have to stamp me out, the more mm -hmm. I can do per turn. Right? They're, like, they're the timer. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like yeah. the yeah. Woodland Alliance are the clock. What's interesting, actually, I don't know if you noticed, um, but there was a patch. Put out uh, or a, a balancing. Oh yes, for the game, right. Uh, where there was just like little printout panels and mm -hmm. stuff that fit, that you glue or or put right onto the board. Uh, the um, the Woodland Alliance uh, got nerfed. Yes, <laughs> right. A little bit. Uh, the initial like sympathy token, uh, everything kind of got pushed over one. Right. right. A little right. bit in terms of like the points and stuff. Um, the one that got uh, buffed, I think, the most was the lizards. Uh, because they have a hard time. If, if everyone's just like, no, we're going to leave you and not do anything, they're like, no, yep. please. No, please, please kill, me. kill, kill me. me. Yeah, yeah, so it's really interesting. But what's nice, too, is with this uh, expansion, if, you, if you're looking at picking it up and you want like all the updated rules and all that kind of jazz, uh, the Corvid Conspiracy and the, the, the Mole Underground Duchy, uh, they have a full, like a full new rule book. That will take. That oh, really? Take, yeah, that it's, takes over okay. all the other good, ones and has good. all the updated things, all the setup rules and stuff. Because nice, I still hold true that my least favorite thing about Root is that they put the setup on the back of the board, and there are some that you have right. to put so you things can be like, on the board. Wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? And it's, so that's all written in the rules book, which is really really nice. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we love playing Root. This will not be the, the last time we play it. Um, 
basically how we've moved into AFK is we're going to do two months of new games that we get in and then a whole month of our favorites mm. and stuff so we can bring stuff back like this. Um, we so. might even get good at it too at some point. Yeah, 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 one of these days we'll remember all the rules. Yeah, <laughs> no, no promises. No promises. Uh, but thank you everybody so much for tuning on in. This was another great AFK and we hope you really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, a reminder that all this is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, you're the reason we're able to do all this stuff. So thank you so, so much uh, alongside our YouTube partners and, and just the people watching this. If you're, if you're checking out the VOD right now, uh, please consider just leaving a comment or even a, a thumbs up or anything like that. Helps mm -hmm. us out a bunch. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's super duper great. Uh, Paul, what do we got going on in terms of streams for the rest of the week? Well, coming up tomorrow, we got uh, LRMTG Ooh. with uh, some combination of James Graham and Adam playing uh, Magic the Gathering. I don't know some, what's... Some combination of Magic the Gathering. Yeah, yeah. some yeah. combination of magical Something cards. Called Magic the Gathering. I'm not sure if there's... Uh, I know there was like a cube thing going on. I don't know if that's still happening, but whatever the case, lots of fun magic. And then it's Destiny... Right. As mentioned earlier, we are free from the oppression of Brutix, the yep. too fast. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say the oppression of Destiny. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yep. you don't have to keep playing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll just be finishing up the, the Legendary campaign. Yeah, I think, I think um, the next mission, the next big one after that is another kind of rude one, but after that it's pretty smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. It's not, the next, the next big roadblock mission uh, ah. has has a kind of a cheese for it mm. that <laughs> really takes the the difficulty you know, down from being ludicrous. I think we really upped our teamwork actually in the last particular uh, yeah, stream well, too. So. Yeah, once we started treating it like a raid encounter, yeah. <laughs> right? Where where we had to like work out a plan and then execute a plan and then stand in very specific places. Oh, we're Ooh, definitely fancy. Yeah, good practice for the raid in future. Yes. Yeah. This is like. I've had um, Christmas ornaments that came packaged like this. Yeah, yeah the thing's really neat. What else we got going on, Paul? Uh, on Friday, Heather's starting her Play It Forward of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, and that's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. Super concentrated Kirby action. Uh, all it's over very fun. the weekend. I, you, if you, you haven't you seen it, it yet, uh, yeah, uh, Nicole and I are playing it at home. Uh, it is a great co-op game. Nice. Uh, and then Checkpoint Plus on Friday afternoon. That's uh, a great stream. Talking about mm -hmm. the video game news. Uh, there wasn't any actual Checkpoint episode last week, but there will be this week. Why do they not fit right? They're different shapes. But they should all fit the same, right? That would they be should. Nice. Uh, but you just need to get them past the little divot. And then the Friday night paper fight uh, is going to be the $20 uh, game store challenge, mm -hmm. where uh, the folks have gone down to our local game store, Yellow Jacket, and uh, made some sort of pile of cards. Uh, for the low, low price of, I guess, $20. I don't know what the actual... $20 is more like the name of it. I don't know if that's like the hard and fast. I, I, I think the actual re requirements have changed a little bit yeah. over the time. W but. When do you actually adjust for inflation on those sorts of... Uh, right, formats? that's true. Yeah, yeah. Do these the fit in here? $25. Yeah. The $20.38 <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Yes, I am currently editing the video. It's uh, and I was there, <laughs> uh, and it's a good one. So looking nice. forward to it. Uh, and then on Saturday, you guys saying more Kirby from Heather, followed by Sunday more Kirby with Heather, followed by uh, Rhythm Cafe. So Heather's got a very busy weekend. Yeah, <laughs> she's, Is that she's on on Friday. She's doing uh, Kirby and then and then Chill Point. Chill Point, and then on Sunday she's doing Kirby and then. Groovecaster YY party. Coaster. Oh, coaster. Yes, it's not witch. It's 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 uh, gravity based. Oh. I assume. I don't know. Why 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 party? It's it's, it's an expression. Why why? Everyone is extremely happy. Gotcha. 
No, that's that's a different mechanic. Please clap. Uh, and then on Sunday, uh, is this your card where uh, Wheeler's continuing on with team fight tactics? And then Monday, the Can't Draw Horses Club. Corey and friends drawn horses or things that are not horses. M- more usually not horses. Or things that could be mistaken as horses. But sometimes Shan't horses draw horses club. Mm-hmm. Sometimes horses sneak in. You gotta watch them. Uh, and then cross the streams on Monday, which is the a uh, game? Glurp. Yes, Glurp's back. Oh, yeah. more Glurp. Right. I'm excited. Oh, we're gonna be playing it in person this time. Yes. Right. yes. I think uh, yeah, we've got extra more people on so, it this time. Too. So it won't it won't be uh, Graham trying to re- disconnect and reconnect people's controllers yes, remotely. We'll just have a passive play controller. It would be great. <laughs> Yay! All right. Yeah, the first time we had some glurp, and now we need to have more, more glurp. glurp. Well, so, the name of the game is Drink More Glurp, so, right? Well, yeah. well, you guys are following directions. Yeah, so we'll we'll got to keep pass, drinking. A pass and play c- controller and a five liter bucket of 99% isopropyl alcohol to just dip our hands in between passing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, let's uh, thank the awesome people who subscribed during this stream. Starting with... It's McGree, who subscribed for 25 months. Thank you. And Sithanin, thank you so much for 72 months. Hey, Simon Arf, you've been here for 51 months. Oh, wow. PM Avers with the one year. Hey. Congratulations. I think we have PM Avers to thank for a number of things. More than likely. <laughs> so thank you, buddy. Thanks, Demon Fire, for throwing one out to Boy Howdy. Uh, let rain, let fire rain down for 42 months. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Drago Knight 101 has been here for 44 months. Uh, Fjord Sword has been here for 18 months. Thank you. Doubles. 67 months, thank you. Uh, Orca Orcanus is a definitely real orc name for 10 months, thank you. You know what? I like that one so much, I'm gonna say the exact same for 62 months. And Blood and Bullets for 56 months of continuous support. Thanks thank for you. all your, your helpful yeah. uh, rules mm-hmm. uh, checking, that really did help. <laughs> yes. Thank you to Pharaoh Bender for some bits. Some bits, bits. Some, some bits, bits. some, some bits. bits. Uh, thank you, everybody, so, so much for tuning on in. Uh, I've been Ben. This it's is... your boy. I'm no one's girl. Huh? And Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you guys next week. Take care. Bye.